Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando's Tyken O'Neill. I'm Jerry O'Neill. Big football here. It's football season. Hey, want a little football to play with, Mike? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. It's Mike Tuck. We have an assignment the day before the committee comes out with its first best four teams in America in the college football poll uh, to have one of our own, right? Yeah. To maybe jumpstart what they might be thinking. I don't think it's going to be easy for the committee, quite frankly. When you have 11 unbeaten teams and several of the one-loss teams, I think, have better resumes to this point in the season. Uh, but it'll get easier, I think, as we move along, and then it'll get more difficult sure. as we move along, too. But uh, This at weekend this point, will help with some games. Oh, it'll be huge, yeah. Where I, the biggest no teams are playing each other. I think the, the two teams that it should be in the conversation for number one, and I'd be surprised if the committee disagreed with, are LSU and Clemson. I have them one and two, LSU, Clemson in that order. And then that's where it gets really scatterbrained because of some of the schedules that are out there. I have it Michigan State, believe it or not, moved up into my top four this week at three a lot because all the teams on their schedule won this week. So their resume got a a boost this week. And I got Iowa at number four right now. After that... Wow. Yeah, I know. After that, it's it's messy. It really is when you look at uh, the resumes of the other teams. Who do you got? Who do I got? Yeah. Top well, four. I like LSU one, Clemson two. All right. After that, there are roll out the candidates, and yeah. there are really a number of them. I'm going to award Ohio State the third pick only because with their toughest games to come, their desire, ability to roll out the wagon with a road win at Virginia Tech at the outset of the year. It's not a bad football team. It's mediocre, but much of America is mediocre. Let's not pretend it's not. You can make an argument for the two teams out of the Big 12, TCU and Baylor. I don't. You know, Michigan State needed a miracle to win at Michigan. It's a quality football win, no question about it, but I'm eliminating that to be determined, though they did score the home win over Oregon. Uh, that was impressive to me because Oregon is a quality football team, but it's taken its lumps as well. So, who's third and fourth? You said Ohio State's three. Ohio State is three. I have the Florida Gators at four, and I don't think that's a stretch with, with Come one on, loss. Jerry. One Cut one, it out. They lost the game. So friggin' what? They lost LSU oh. on a fake field goal, and Come LSU's on. number one at LSU. You can't have teams with losses ahead of teams that are unbeaten at this stage. I can't. At the end of the I year, did. At the, you were the one that went off the rails last year talking about it, how it was a joke that Florida State was third and fourth. You were the one that highlighted how big of a joke it was. And here we are, middle of the year, the committee going to come out with their first poll, and you have the Gators with one loss ahead of all these other unbeaten teams? Yes. You have a follow-up question, or do I need to continue to defend it? Wow. They have, you know, the win over Tennessee, which was an impressive come-from-behind win. They lost their quarterback because of expulsion, because of a PED test. They clobber Ole Miss, who beat uh, Alabama at Bryant-Denny. They uh, end up winning at Missouri, a nice road win. They, again, lose the game to LSU. They rebound with this pitch shutout on a neutral field against Georgia. Their competition is significantly heavier than anybody else that's in the top four. It's not four. even the best of the one-loss teams. Please. It's not. I, I have them behind a couple of the one-loss teams right now. Well, it doesn't make you right. You no, have a very strong it opinion. Doesn't, but I, I am of the strong opinion at this stage. You can't have a one-loss team well, ahead of unbeaten teams. hold to that, and, you know, good for you. So you're And you four, agreed with me a year ago. That's the crazy thing. You're four teams are online at sportstalkflorida.com your four teams are <laughs> we agree on the top two lsu, LSU clemson, clemson and then i have it michigan state iowa that is a joke i was beaten nobody colored i was schedules better than any of the other one lo- or undefeated teams the one loss teams i give you alabama and stanford and even florida uh, notre dame all have better schedules than, sure. than ohio state tcu baylor and at, uh, and at this hour, State. at this hour, but those I'm, are unbeaten teams. I'm rewarding them. We talk about it every day, uh, weekdays three to seven. Sports Talk 1080, the team.